In this second video of the authentication with AI2 and Google Sheet series, we will see how to send an email containing the authentication data to a user who has forgotten their password. When a user clicks on the Forgot Password button, a notification is displayed asking him to confirm the sending of the email. Here is the email has been sent and which contains the user's password. To begin with, open script editor and add a code that can be accessed by setting the func parameter equal to send email. First, get a reference to the sheet. Then, retrieve the email entered by user in the login interface. Using the query function, look in column B if this email exists or not. If this is the case, we ask to send the email back to the get result variable and the password to the get pwd variable. Otherwise we return an empty string in the get result variable. The request is executed in a new sheet that we delete as soon as the work is done. Now if email is found then create and send email with Gmail app. Sending an email only requires one recipient, one subject, and one email body. However, you can also provide options for things like attaching a map or PDF file. A click on the Save button triggers the compilation of the code. So click on the button and fix the errors. Remember to publish and create a new version each time you change something in the script. The script should run as the owner of the Google account, and be accessible to anyone, even anonymous. Now go to App Inventor 2 and in the login interface add a web component. In the blocks part, program the button btn forgot pwd. When the user clicks on this button then we check the input field of the email. If it is empty, then the user is asked to fill in this field via a notification. Otherwise a dialog box with two buttons is displayed, from which the user can choose. Pressing a button triggers the after choosing event. The choice parameter at after choosing is the text on the button that was pressed. If the choice is yes then we specify the URL using the join block. This URL is made up of the URL variable presented in the previous video plus the func parameter which is equal to send email plus the email parameter entered by the user. Then we execute an HTTPGET request using this URL and we get the response. If the choice is no, then the alert created by the show progress dialog block is rejected. Now all you have to do is add the got text event which indicates that a request is complete. If response content contains an empty string, then the user is informed that the email does not exist in the Google Sheet. Otherwise, we confirm the sending of the password to his email address.